Welcome to day three of Brian's birthday cruise. Today, we're at Coco Key. We just got off Independence of the Seas and we're at Coco Key. And the captain just said, oh, we're the only ship here today. That's crazy. That's amazing. And we're off to do something super fun. We've never done it before. We're going to the beach club. Yeah, we've done like almost everything that there is to do here. Yeah. But we've never done the beach club, so I'm really excited to see how it is. They have filet mignon <laughs> at this place. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what it is. Some sort of steak. Like that's ridiculous and amazing. We're going straight to the beach club, obviously. And we're gonna take Sandy Lane, which I think this path is kind of going straight down the middle of the island. We're rope dropping this. We like waited in line to get off the ship as soon as they let people off. Okay, in the, the PDF of the cruise planner that we found, it said arrival time seven. And I think in our head we thought, okay, so we can get off the ship at seven. But no, we yeah. could get off the ship at eight. So we had to wait an hour. We should know better because- We should. This is why we always say like, we're not experts. We're <laughs> figuring things out. We don't know anything. But you should still listen to every word we say and take all of it, our advice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, can like, you can you film my foot? We're we're like going where no guest has gone before. It's like couple, fresh snow. A couple of, of guests are beating us. There's like one other couple. I feel like they're on a mission and they're trying to do the same thing we're doing. If this was the amazing race, we would not. We'd be in like second or third place. Yeah. Now we're passing the balloon, which is my highest rated excursion on Coco Key. We'll see if that changes today though. And we found it. It looks very pristine, very nice. Okay, so far this looks amazing. We just had somebody like explain everything to us. It feels very like exclusive it, and nice. It, it looks very nice and we're gonna get the, this bed, this day bed. Should we get that one? And we have like special towels. These are so nice, look at these. Like that's cool. That's really cool. Let's steal that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, look at the pool here. We have the, the chairs in the water, our favorite thing ever. I can see how this could become like a must do thing. I wanna see how crowded it gets. Yeah, we need to, um, she said also to go book our reservation for lunch. So we need to go do that now. So right here is the restaurant and this is um, included with our day pass. Let's walk around. We, we just made our reservation for 11 o'clock. Let's go tour. Let's go tour. I need to put my feet in this pool. Oh, it's a good temperature. That is a good temperature. Let's go to the beach and check out the beach. Okay. So I think they were saying that there's like coffee and there's gonna be danishes over here. Yeah, but they're just, they're still getting it ready. Look how nice this is. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, and then she- There's floating mats. Oh yeah, the floating mats are included. They are. They're like down there in between the tables there. But um, she said, um, you know, there's gonna be lots of chairs by um, the beach and they all have towels on them already. But if you needed a drink from the bar, they have this little flag to say like, oh, I need a drink. That's really nice. So here's another look at the pool. Yeah, that looks nice. Something I didn't know until like a few days ago when we were like looking at information about the beach club is kids are allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did think this was adults only for some reason, but- I did too. But no, and there are kids here already, but I mean, I don't really care. Of course not. But I think Royal Caribbean is uh, working on an adults only section of Coco Key. Let's fill the water um, at the beach. Oh, the sand feels actually really nice here. It's like freshly like raked. Fluffy. Oh, I see fish in the water. It's actually not that cold. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it feels nice. And you know what? At least right here, it doesn't feel like sticky and muddy. Yeah, this is actually is a nice beach. And look at the cabanas. Yeah, so if you get one of those cabanas, um, you do get access to the beach club for free, but I mean, you're paying $1,000 for the cabana. What do you get for free? You get access to the beach club. Oh, okay, yeah. Here's a jellyfish. I think this one might be dead. I hope he's dead because one of those monsters bit you me. You should step on him to find out. It's upside down. It's hard to tell that it's the jellyfish. Cause it's like, oh, is that seaweed? No, it's jellyfish. I was literally stepping all over them. Cause they look like seaweed. Yeah. It's a great disguise for them from predators. Although predators probably would also want to eat seaweed. 
So the price to get the beach club for the day is like, it's like buying tickets for an airplane. Like it changes so drastically and so much. Like, oh always. yeah. What if we, I feel like I've read that it could go from like 80 to $200. Yeah. Is that right? That's, that's something, it's something like that. So we're the only ship in um, Coco Key today. So I think maybe that's part of the reason why it was a little bit cheaper for us. Yeah, ours was like mid 100s somewhere in that. Yeah. If you didn't want an overwater cabana, because that's really expensive, they also have not overwater cabanas. Those nice. I yeah. would get one of those. And the overwater ones look nice if too. Had, if we had a cruise with people, I would do that. Like if we had a big group. Yeah, because there's a lot of chairs too. What's going on? So this, this is the. So we basically have walked the whole area of the beach club. It's kind of small. Well, I mean, it's also all of that. It's just more like that's just for the cabana people. Yeah. What if I squealed like that when I was hungry? Wow. And they've got like a bed. This cabana looks really nice. They have a hammock. They have a, a dining area. I wonder if that's a private bathroom. Oh my God. Or like a, maybe even just like a changing area or a shower. I don't know. It could be just like a closet. So here's where you can get more towels. They do put towels on everybody's chair, which is cool. Yeah. And we have heard that the lunch here is... Superb. Is like the best lunch you could get on Coco Key. Now, I don't know, because what about <laughs> the sandwich? <laughs> yeah. We could always, you could always leave this section, go get a sandwich and bring it back here. I feel like they'd turn their nose up at you. Yeah, we made our way back to the, the day bed. <laughs> Isn't it nice? This is a lot cushier than I would have imagined. You know how most like beach furniture, it's like it looks cushy and then you sit on it and it's actually like really, really... Yeah. A, not this one. Like you will fall asleep. This is a bed. I think we're about to fall asleep. Okay, good night. Oh my God. <laughs> I can see the value in getting here early because there's only, I don't know, like eight of these beds yeah so you want to be the top eight groups here so you can get a bed yeah i think so this place is very instagrammable like it looks so nice like it's like, pretty cool the palm trees seem nicer than the other parts of the island and there's something about the infinity pool that really like it makes it seem elevated yeah and maybe it's also looking at it through this nice day bed into the infinity pool into the ocean, you know? Yeah. I'm looking at photos of like some of the lunch options because I'm looking at the menu now because I can't decide what I want to get. And yes, I'm already looking at the menu. Here's what Carrie's getting. The filet. But that here's what's really funny is that there's an ad for Pepto in the middle of these food pictures. And I- Just in case. I think that's really funny. <laughs> so we got some cinnamon rolls. How is it? and a soda. Okay, just swallow and don't even chew it, just so that you could talk. It is good, it's like the same as they have at Cafe Promenade. What else, they, they had like cinnamon rolls, other small like, pastries. Yeah, like cheese danishes, vanilla. And coffee. Yeah, fancy cucumber water. And tea, I think. Yeah. Remember when we were at Atlantis yesterday? And I said, wow, these are really nice restrooms. I've never been to a nicer restroom. Well, guess yeah. what? This is the trip where we talk about bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I found the nicest bathroom at Perfect Day. Was there a gust? There wasn't a gust, but instead of using paper towels, ugh, Yuck. they have hand towels. Wow. Like, like made of, of this terry yeah. cloth and, and like the, the, spout for the water is like a rainforest head and it's like into a basin it's made out of gold it was no but it was beautiful height of luxury it's like this is cool because it's like we've been to coco key a million times so many times and it's like we're experiencing something completely new if it, it feels like brand new it feels like i'm on a completely different island even though right over there is oasis lagoon and the snack shack and like everything that we normally do yeah it's crazy okay it's time for lunch yeah, I'm Finally. just uh, looking over this menu. I've never seen this before. I have no idea what I want. Definitely, um, <laughs> maybe this filet mignon. Yeah, yeah. We know exactly what we want. We have a cool shell. Yeah, that is cool. 
So yeah, like we said before, this meal is included with your day pass. Um, we're gonna skip the starter because we honestly probably wouldn't eat it. We just don't wanna you know, waste the food. We just wanna go straight to the entree. For sure, she said like, oh, I'm gonna bring you everything. And then yeah, I was like, like, oh wait, I don't. Cause like, I mean, truthfully, we, we just wouldn't eat it. Yeah. But they do have baba ganoush, which I, I love the name of it. I don't know what it is, but the name is so funny to oh me. Oh my gosh. That I almost want to order it because I keep want to, I keep wanting to say baba ganoush. What baba about ganoush. all the other ones? They're kind of like ceviche. No, baba ganoush. Okay. Do you even know what that is? It's eggplant, garlic, tahini. I don't know what it is. Great name though. We got our food. That this was looks quick. so good. Like this is, I'm literally outside at like a beach place where we usually get chicken sandwiches and I have a steak. This looks so good. You got the filet with uh, potato wedges. Yeah, and chimichurri sauce. Oh, that's a fun name. The thing that was highlighted on the menu was the lobster sandwich, so I had to get that. You did. Um, and so it's fried lobster, right? And um, pineapple slaw and fries. Wow. So this looks good. Bon appetit. How's your filet? It's really good. I kind of feel like I'm back at like Samba Grill. Wow. Like, it's good. Yeah. How is your lobster sandwich? It's really good. It's, um, it's, it reminds me of like a coconut shrimp because it's like breaded and fried just like coconut shrimp, but it's like lobster. Yeah. So it's yummy. Yeah. It's good. I just tried a bite of Carrie's steak and she undersold it. It is so good. It is. It's like, I feel like it got like more tender as I got into it, but it also like it was the perfect cook. Like, it wasn't too pink, it wasn't too brown. I asked for a medium, it was like. It's one of the best steaks I've ever had. Um, but I also, I do not eat a lot of steak. That's true. But that being said, it is one of the best I've ever had. I think that, I think that like, it's kind of like a, a filet is as tender as you're describing as. But it's like people, I've always heard people describe like, they say like it melts in your mouth. Cause it, yeah. Like this literally melted in my mouth. Yeah. I like a filet. What do you, you like something that's kind of like more fatty. I normally like a ribeye. Yeah. But maybe now, if You're I You're a filet back, guy now. Yeah, now, I've changed now. No, if, it, if we come back, I'm gonna get the filet. Okay, you just raved about this. Is this the best food? on perfect day at Coco Key. Would you have this filet over the chicken sandwich? I feel like they're two very different things. They're so different. This might be shocking to hear. Oh, there's a rooster. He just ran into the bushes. Okay, I don't believe you that he was there. If I'm putting the chicken, the Snack Shack chicken sandwich up against the lobster sandwich, I'm gonna pick the chicken sandwich. I think the chicken sandwich is better. Okay. But chicken sandwich versus, lo I mean, versus the steak, like you can't, I don't think you can compare that. Okay, but you can't compare the sandwich because it was a sandwich. Yeah. Okay, I get that. Like me personally, would I rather have a filet or the Snack Shack chicken sandwich? I think I would pick this chicken sandwich. Just because- I think that you and I are unfancy people. We prefer to have uh, uncultured food, <laughs> but this yeah. was so good. Yeah. For dessert, we got a cookie. We each got a chocolate chip cookie. And at first I was like, oh, this is just gonna be like a Windjammer cookie, but it's better. And by the way, the Windjammer chocolate chip cookies, they're not the best. Don't get the chocolate chip cookies. Get the coconut cookies. Those things are good. We moved over to the beach area. It's nice and breezy here. I think, yeah, so like the day bed was so cushy and so nice, but over here, it's nice and breezy, which in the afternoon, after you've had the hot sun on your skin all day, the breeze is nice. So the water here looks clearer than like I ever remember Coco Key having, or I don't know how to talk. There's like fish everywhere. I don't remember Coco Key water being this clear. And there's a sandbar out there, so should we try to go to it? Why? I don't want to get eaten by a jellyfish. Look at those peasants over there. Yeah, that's the normal beach area. <laughs> Okay, but this, I wanna go to the other, I wanna go to that beach area and compare the water because this looks so nice and I don't know if I'm just like misremembering or what. Maybe it's like there's just a better tide or something because I can't imagine that just because of this boardwalk, it's like different over there. I don't know. I don't think so. What do you think of Coco Beach Club and would you recommend it? I would recommend it, especially if you're like us and you don't like loud music and um, 
Yeah. Like, like when I compare this to Oasis Lagoon, it's just so much calmer. There's like not a lot of crowds. Oh, I overheard somebody in the restroom saying like they cap it at 275 people or something really? like that. Yeah. Well, I wait. I just noticed there's um, hammocks here, and I didn't see that before. We could have been hammocking. Yeah. Whoops. That's why we came I, over. I would say like, here's what I would say is like. If you're looking for the vibe of Oasis Lagoon, then this isn't for you. Yeah, like Oasis not, Lagoon is like- This isn't a party. The, yeah, Oasis is like a party zone. This is not that. Yeah. But I would- if This is class. If you are class, especially like if like chicken sandwiches, like you're too good for chicken sandwiches, you need to have filet mignon, then like you need to come here. I would say if you don't care about spending a lot of money on your cruise, absolutely do the beach club. Like, yeah. it's it's really, really nice. Now, let's say, like, the water park and this are the same price. It depends if you want thrill or chill. That's true. I think both are good. And that's kind of what this island is all about, is yeah. it, do you want thrill or do you want chill? But, like, on a future cruise that we do, if we're like, yeah, we'll spend the money, like, I, I could would totally see us again. coming back here. Yeah. Kind of looks just as clear. Yeah, I think this is the same. This is, we're at the other beach now. I Literally, think. you can like look back at the rocks at where we were before. Yeah, we were down there. It's obviously, it's more crowded with people now, but like the water is equally as clear. I think we just had like cloudy water when we were here last. Yeah, I think it's like a good tide day. Yeah. Or it's been bad tide days before, I don't know. Yeah, the water looks really nice today. I got, I got my strawberry kiwi juice and guess what's next? Chicken <laughs> sandwich, mozzarella sticks. On a previous cruise, like it was so filled with jellyfish and seaweed, and now that's all gone. And I'm pretty sure this is the same beach that we were at. Yeah. So yeah, I think we were just we just got unlucky that one day. Now uh, we just ate and we were really full, but like I can't go to Coco Key without getting the shack chicken sandwich. No, of course not. You'd be it, crazy if you did. And I need to compare this to the sandwich I had at Playmakers. Oh. One at Playmakers and two the like the lobster. the lobster sandwich. Okay, there's lots of comparisons to be had. But like this is the amount of food we're eating is obscene, and after the cruise for like two weeks, I'm gonna like starve myself. That's good, healthy. <laughs> and and you got some mozzarella sticks. I did, yeah, because that's where it's at. Well, dear, we've had a bite, and we all know the rules. One bite, everyone knows the rules. That's all it takes. So. What is your review? Now, me personally, I like this better than the lobster sandwich. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I also like this better than the Playmakers one, too. I, I think it's better than the Playmakers one. It's something in the secret all, sauce. All three sandwiches were good. Right. It's just, this is just better. Of course. I don't know why. The secret sauce. So we're just walking around. We're at Oasis Lagoon right now. And, uh... I think that having one ship in port really makes a big difference. I agree, because I was coming over to be like, see, look, you have to do Coco Beach Club because look how crowded it is. There's literally a lot of open chairs here. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah. This is something new, I think. What is this? Wait, There's a the library. This was not here before. This is kind of cool. The Island Library. Look at this. This says, read it, return it. Perfect day at Coco Key. I think that's so cool. That is really cool. I've never seen that. This is just like a picture perfect spot right here. This is amazing. And look at this, that's cool. The waves crashing, the cool colorful arch things. Look at the coconut. I wanna swim here. It seems safe. You could get up on the rocks and have an aerial moment. That'd be- Part cool. of your world. We made it back to our balcony. We're still at Coco Key, but we're about to pull away. And tonight is actually tropical night. And we're actually gonna to participate tonight. And by participate, you just mean wearing clothes that are tropical. Yeah, that's all we're doing. Yeah. But yeah, we came back on board. Uh, we got showered, which a shower after the day at the beach is the best thing in the world. We have said that before. I got my um, proudly serving Starbucks. And I think this proudly serving thing is actually on all the royal ships now in Cafe Promenade. So if your, star if your ship doesn't have Starbucks, they will have proudly serving Starbucks. 
I'm pretty sure that's every ship now. Cool. And you got your stra strawberry refresher. I did, which I was impressed that they have had that. Tonight's dress code is tropical night. And we've never dressed up for tropical night before. And so I have this tropical shirt on and it looks like just a normal tropical shirt. Yeah, from afar. From afar, but it's not. So this is actually Jurassic Park. So like you can see like there's like the Jeep and the dinosaur and stuff so and there's a raptor here so isn't that cool this is the coolest thing ever Aren't because really yeah cool? like from afar wow brian is super tropical and fun right. but then Jurassic you come Park. up and he's wearing dinosaurs i love it i think i got this at um at box lunch i don't know what that is it's a really cool store they have like a, a ton of like cool tropical shirts like this that are like movies or video games or whatever cool this is your o o t D. I o -O -T -D. Your outfit of the day. It's my coral pants. My famous coral pants. Yeah, and I'm I'm wearing jeans too because we are gonna go to the main dining room for dinner, which we don't normally do. But we're at a mission. Do you know why? We're on a mission to get those tacos. Asian pork tacos. Every single cruise I've tried to get them and they've been elusive. And I swear I'm going to get pork tacos we've talked a lot about like different smells like on a cruise ship that like mm -hmm. makes us like really like nostalgic is that the right word nostalgic for cruising it's like just like when you like smell the cruise ship itself like it always has that unique smell but something we haven't talked about before is like all the little sounds when you're on a cruise that when i hear it's like ah oh, we're on a cruise and i love hearing these sounds like like when you get on or off the ship and you tap your sea pass yeah at when you're Hello. exiting it has that little sound like we should make like an asmr video of oh wait you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna put in the sound in post yeah when i go broom, you should put in the noise yeah okay make the sound <laughs> okay <laughs> and then there's the sound for the um the announcement like when the captain or the cruise director makes it <laughs> I know what you're about to do. Okay, and there's one other sound that I've never heard anywhere. I don't I don't know why, but other than a cruise ship. Other than a cruise ship, this this is a unique sound. And when we come into our stateroom and this and you turn on do the you lights. Want me to do it? So yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna stand up on the on the bed really quick. Okay, turn on the lights. Okay. They make like a little twinkle sound and it's like it's nice i don't know what it is it's like the, the energy saving lights i bet but um like fluorescence but i love hearing that i don't know something about that <laughs> i'm just like a cruise freak no big deal we all are i have no cruise control it's like the cruises book themselves we have a little <laughs> sign in our house that says that <laughs> thanks mom yeah, I don't know. Something about it, it's just like, it's just a comforting sound. Yeah. And I like these sounds and sights and smells. Now that, now that you've had a tour of Brian's sound, sights, and smells of cruise ships, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead to the casino and probably head to the main dining room and maybe just take a little walk up on the top deck. Let's take a walk around the top deck. Okay. And enjoy the sights of being on the top deck of a cruise ship. One of my favorite things. We won't be back on the top deck of a cruise ship <laughs> for another 18 days. Oh, it's so long. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's actually comical how close together it is. It's not normally how this goes, no. though. So it, it is a Sunday night, um, the end of the weekend, and we have football going on right now kind of nice that it's out on the pool deck big screen yeah it's really nice that it's out on the pool deck so if you're a big uh you know football head wait no that sounds like arnold fan okay yeah not not arnold but if, if you're a big football fan and you if you're wondering my parents when they went to alaska they were like carrie where are we going to be able to watch the eagles play on board and i was like is there a playmakers and they were like no and i was like "Ooh, i don't know i don't think you're going to be able to watch and then they said carrie the football game was playing out on the pool deck. So that's where you go if you're a big football head, as Brian would say. No, I take back what I said. Oh, you know what's something interesting that my dad said on that cruise? 
So we're currently on the walking track here, right? Um, and so my dad was using his Apple Watch and oh. he did um, the outdoor walk thing. And outdoor walk uses GPS. And so it basically said like, you walked 20 miles. And like, that's not true. That's because the ship was moving. And so his suggestion is to use the indoor walk if you're trying to track your steps on a cruise. That's a really funny thing. Yeah. This is the sign that I would steal if the ship was going down. We can steal it now. Maybe if they ever refurb uh, the ship. Yeah. Uh, they can just give me that old sign. I think they will. Down here we have fish and ships, which... These are some nice little things. Maybe I'll steal one of those. Oh, the banner thing? Yeah. I, I really don't even understand why fish and ships is uh, on board. I feel like I, I feel like El Loco Fresh is a better... It should just be an, a non-paid experience. I feel like people would like fish and ships better if you didn't have to pay for it. And I feel like El Loco Fresh is always like packed. Yeah. And so people love it. So. Because Mexican food is good. I feel like in the like if this ship ever gets like another like amplification or something, it will you know go back or go to um, a local fresh. I also really enjoyed the Johnny Rockets Express that was on Anthem. Yeah. But this one already has a Johnny Rockets, so it doesn't need a Johnny Rockets Express. <laughs> well, they could have both. <laughs> and then as we keep walking, we have the sunset in front of us. A uh, little cloudy, so we won't see the green flash. I don't believe in the green flash. We saw it once, but... It wasn't real then, and it's not real now. Okay, so we almost did a full lap around the top. On the, the track, that is, not really the full entire thing. So, does that mean I'm healthy and <laughs> fit? I think that means we're ready for our Asian-style tacos. Yeah! Let's go down there. We're actually at the front of the ship, so I think we need to go back to the aft, though. Alright, well, we'll do another half loop. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we are in the main dining room. I don't even know what this venue is. What is this place? Have we been here before? We've never really sat like in the middle with the chandelier and like the grand yeah. staircase and that kind of stuff. It's nice in here. Yeah. By the way, like everyone's like, a lot of guests are wearing tropical clothes. We're not alone. Yeah, and a lot of the crew is wearing tropical. Yeah, it's kind of fun to see them showing their personality. With like them. all like the waiters in here and even the casino dealers are wearing. And it's not like they're all wearing the same shirt, it's different. Yeah. We got our menu. Asian style pork tacos are on here. They didn't change the menu, so we actually get them. We only want one thing, <laughs> and it's this. And a garden salad. We've been trying to get this since like our first cruise. It's been nine cruises. <laughs> it's just like we're never wanting to go to the dining room yeah. when they're serving it on that day. Yeah, tonight's the night. But they serve it like at every on every cruise, it seems like. Yeah. I don't think we're getting an entree. We're just getting the Asian style pork tacos. Yeah. I love sitting in the middle here where we can like see everything. And it's like, it feels like more open and stuff. It's really nice. It definitely feels airier with this. I don't feel like I've stepped in a corner. Yeah. It really reminds me of like the atrium on the Disney ships, you know? Cause I totally even... see that. It's like the same amount of level. And there's even a, like a chandelier. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's a grand staircase that kind of seems like that. Do they have that on the Disney? Yeah. Yeah, they kind of do. It's like where the princesses would meet. Yeah. And it also kind of looks like a uh, Titanic. It does look like Titanic a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool that like we get to eat here. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that we don't get to like use that staircase at all. Yeah, no, no, no one's ever used it ever. Maybe we should go up there. Yeah. Start playing the piano. So for tonight's dinner time question, we have this coming from James G. And the question is, how come people pronounce it Coco K and other people like us? pronounce it Coco Key. I always thought it was K because it rhymes with perfect day. But which one is it? So you could say whatever you want, Coco K, Coco Key. But the real way like uh Bahamian. Like Bahamians say key is key. Yeah. So um it like the correct way to say it would be Coco Key, just like castaway key. Yeah. And there's a link. Put the yes. link in the bar, the well, description. Yeah, so on the Royal Caribbean website, they have an FAQ about Coco Key, and it says there that it is pronounced key, like a key to open a door. Yeah. So I guess that's the official answer, because if Royal Caribbean is saying it's key, then it's key. Now, the song does say K. And like in every announcement, they're like, welcome to Perfect Day yeah. at Coco K. Technically, they're not 
saying the correct pronunciation, but who, it doesn't matter. I, like for any any pronunciation, I feel like as long as you know like what the person is trying to say, like it doesn't matter how you pronounce something. Yeah, I agree like, with that. And and the song says it that way because it rhymes. Yeah. Like you can change your pronunciation um, in a song to make it rhyme. Taylor Swift does it. Other people do it. If Taylor can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah. So that's the answer. Well, something fun that we don't normally get is we get bread. I love bread. <laughs> Brian isn't eating any, and I will be able to eat this entire thing. I'm saving my room for the tacos. Bam, bam, bam. This is this is a moment we've been waiting for for like a year and a half. People on Facebook always talk about these tacos, and we've never had them. And look at them. Look at them. They're delicious looking. I'm, I'm very excited for this. What are your thoughts on this Asian-style pork taco? So, this is like a bao bun. Yeah. I don't know why they don't call it a bao bun. Yeah. But it's really good. It is. We got three each. I'm just going to get dessert after this. You're going to get a salad after. But anyway, I think it's really good. I agree. Now, I'm not entirely sure it was like worthy of what I hyped up in my head. But it's very I, good. No, I, I mean, I think it's really good. I think this is... Yeah. I think it's worth talking about on Facebook, at least. <laughs> yeah. So the official name is Asian Style Pork Tacos, and it says it's a roasted pork and sweet chili soy sauce with sauteed vegetables and a soft bun. And the bun is really soft and good. It's time for dessert. I think we both got, like, classic Royal Caribbean desserts. Like, this is the Royal Caribbean chocolate cake. Yeah, so by classic, you mean... It's, it's on the menu every night. Every single night. And I got the creme brulee. I'm excited for this. Yeah. Let's take a bite quickly and chew it very quickly and tell me how it is. And don't get it in your teeth. It's very moussey. Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, I don't. I wish it was more cakey. Oh. But it's okay. It's very good. Okay, we're going to see the show now. We're going to see Greece. We haven't seen this before. They weren't doing this last time we were on Independence. Summer loving, honey, a blast. I actually just watched Greece for the first time very recently. The movie. But Carrie was saying that there might be different songs in this one because this is like a Broadway version instead of the movie version. Some of like the side characters get more songs in the Broadway version, and I like those songs. They actually just made an announcement. Um, the lady, the performer playing Sandy, um, has COVID. So there's a fill-in. Really? Um, Carrie from room 8332. <laughs> I know. I don't know if this play well enough to do that. Is this OK? Yeah. You got me for a second there. OK, we just watched the show. What did you think? That was really good. I didn't like the Danny, but I loved everybody else. <laughs> yeah, Danny Zuko should have been played by Danny from Hard Travel. <laughs> that could actually work. Maybe. He, he would do a really good job, I think. Yeah. <laughs> It's just a cry and shame. So they did have the songs from the Broadway they show did. and not the movie. But there's one that I think that they were missing. Like Marty sings a song during the sleepover scene in the beginning about all of her lovers that she has. I can't figure it out. And my internet isn't working because I guess Starlink <laughs> doesn't work for But it has years. been good. It has been really good this whole yeah, cruise. It really has. I'm trying to think of how it goes, but... Freddie, my love. I don't know what that is. Yeah, of course not, because it's <laughs> in the Broadway show. Carrie's a Broadway expert. And I didn't like the way that they handled um, the raining at prom night. I feel like that could have been better. But I was really happy to see how many of the Broadway songs went into the show. And I think they did a really good job. The sets were really cool. Like, the car for Bruce Lightning was, like, amazing. Oh, yeah. I liked that. Yeah. So, what did you think? I thought it was okay. <laughs> I mean, no, I thought it was good. Brian probably was like, can we go to the roulette table now? No, no, I, I thought it was good. I'm glad that we stayed. I One of my, like, dream roles to play would be Sandy. And if I wanted to go, like, completely opposite from my personality, I'd love to play Rizzo. Wow. You could do Sandy, I could see that. One year for Halloween, you'll be Sandy and I'll be Danny. You could be Danny so easily. Yeah. Okay, let's do it next year. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, we'll do it next year, okay? No. And we'll put it on the vlog. No. Okay, let's see if we have a Gus. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. It's flying. It's a bat. We've never had the bat. No. We have th three 
unique gusses three nights three unique gusses incredible that's insane just incredible that is so cool you love to see it i love the bat this is one of my favorites i think i love when they're hanging yeah you can't beat that so we've completed our loop we started in port canaveral went to nassau then coco key now we're sadly on our way back to port canaveral where we're gonna have to rush off the ship and get to work because that's we're not taking monday off so you know we'll be in a panic getting to work on time tomorrow but that's okay because the next cruise is very soon it is coming up in our next video we explore the brand new disney wish <laughs>